Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a 2020 reading for Gemini, Moon Sun and Rising Sign. And for those of you who are not familiar with your Moon and Rising Sign, I would like to suggest you to watch my previous video about the astrology explanation. And there's also a link on that video for you to check on your three signs. And for those of you who would want to book a private and more in-depth reading, you can just message me to my email down below. So this is a layout from January to December and this is an oracle card that I pulled to see the overall energy for 2020. Let's just start with the month of January. We have the Knight of Pals or symbolized by Fox. This card shows me that you will start the year of 2020 with your idea in mind, you know which direction to go, you have a strong will to achieve your goal. And now for the month of February, we have the Queen of Bounce or symbolized as hair. I feel that this represents that during this month, some of you might get impatient of the waiting and that you might think that it's not worth waiting for or that this might not produce some result that you desire and for some of you, you might also be rushing things it's a reminder so that you don't do things in a rush you might want to be more patient with yourself and your surrounding during this month because I feel that the time is not really on your side so that you just have to trust the divine timing now on March you have the six of bows this might be the month where you finally get the taste of your achievement or at least in a way you can see clearly now that whatever you've been waiting for is going to give you something out of it and now for the month of april you have the woodward card and this usually symbolize a guardian or protector so i feel that this card tells me that during april you will be more protective of yourself or of your surrounding i feel that you try to protect and defend yourself from anything that might go against your will on May, you have the Queen of Vessels or symbolized as Salmon. Your intuition will enhance during this month and that you might act based on this. For some of you, this might be an emotional month. So I will suggest you to do more meditation and to connect with your loved ones so that you have the supportive system in your life and some of you might just gain the wisdom in your life you will be more into your spiritual world during this month you will question life and your purpose those kind of things so i feel that this month is a good month for you to connect more to your higher self now on june you have the nine of stones you are building something during this month and you are using all of your resources to your best interest and for some of you i feel that this is a reminder not to overindulge yourself because there might be an indication that you will overindulge yourself and that you don't know how to stop 
or that your surrounding are influencing you to keep on doing this and it's not gonna be good for a long term and for the month of july you have the knight of arrows or represents as a hawk i feel that you are once again being impatient or that you get the sense of timing because this is july you are still wanting to achieve more during this year and you are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve more and on august you have the guardian card this card wants you to be careful with yourself and your surrounding you might be limiting yourself during this month or that you find your surrounding are not supportive as you wish they would and that you might also get dragged into that situation so just be careful and get influenced with the negativity around you stay optimistic and be aware of the negativity around you for the month of september we have the tree of vessels i feel that this represents that you might be celebrating your achievement there might also be an invitation for you in this month or just a night out with your pals having fun catching up with each other's life and just share the stories with each other it will be a good month for you to just take your time and be out and about have fun with your friends and your loved ones just let go of your worries and enjoy yourself on october you have the seven of arrows some of you might have a low self-esteem during this month insecure with yourself i also feel that for some of you you might figure something out or that someone will do something that you don't expect at all and this makes you feel attacked by what they did to you for the month of november you have the queen of stones or symbolized as bear you will start to filter your surrounding and build up your walls around to protect yourself you will be more aware of your surrounding you will be more aware of yourself i feel that this man will teach you a lot to differentiate between the people that are good for you and the people that are not or the situation that is good for you and the situation that is not or that your own behavior your own habits which are serving you right and which are not so this is a very good month for you to settle yourself and really reevaluate all of your surrounding including the inner self of you for the last month of 2020 you have the six of stones this card tells me that by the end of the year you will try to seek up balance in your life you understand a bit more of give and take in order for you to gain something you have to lose something the yin and yang of your life you have the wisdom to understand your life and yourself more this year and that you will bring this energy towards the next year and this will help you deal with all of the problems that you might be facing and for the overall energy of 2020 when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe so once again this is a reminder for you to 
just connect with yourself more to understand yourself more and by doing that you will attract the support you need from the universe this also tells that you need to balance out between your life and to understand that something bad might happen for a good reason or that you might have a good intention but it turns out to be something that you don't expect but then again it's just part of life is just part of your growth so you have to always remember that you will attract the thing that you put out there so be wise and attract the right support from the universe okay that is all for me about the 2020 reading for gemini i would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel like the video and share your thoughts in the comment section below thank you and have a good year of 2020